Another 2,100 people tested positive in the last 24 hours. Hospitalizations and the positivity rate continue to drop in this state. Maryland will move into phase 1C tomorrow, which will now include adults 65 and 75 older. Other public health and safety workers are are also allowed to get the vaccine starting tomorrow. Like that include the post office workers, grocery store employees, and people who work in food productions and manufacturing. Now, Maryland reports more than 1,600 COVID cases in the last 24 hours. 36 more people have died. However, the hospitalizations are flat. Test positive is dropped below 7% for the first time in weeks and stands at 6.84%. Today, Maryland entered phase 1C of this coronavirus vaccinations eligible that includes adults 65 to 74 years old. Other public health and safety workers are all still getting the vaccine, including once again, post office workers, grocery employees, and people who work in food production and manufacturing. So the state recorded more than 1,400 new cases in the last day. Hospitalizations are down and the state positivity rate dropped by 0.20%. Harvard County Public Schools will have some students return to in-person learning starting in March. The official says beginning on March 1st, elementary students will return to in-person learning once a week, followed by the secondary students on March 15th. Parents and guardians will be contacted by the child school for their sign one day in the classroom, face masks, social distancing, and other health measures required. Nearly 2,000 people tested positive for the coronavirus in the past day. 33 more people have died. More than 1,600 people are still in the hospital. The positivity rate is at the all-time low. In the past 24 hours, Maryland tested more than 34,000 people. Preparations are underway to wrap up the state distributions of the coronavirus vaccine. Right now, supply is limited, but at least six vaccine sites will open across the state. Vaccine doses will be distributed to more pharmacies, including Safeway and Rite Aid stores. Nearly 6% of the state population has gotten at least one shot. Twenty one hundred more people tested positive for the coronavirus in Maryland, but hospitalizations and the positivity rate both drop. Governor Larry Hogan announced the state has administered nearly four hundred fifty thousand doses of the COVID nineteen vaccine, while distribution continues speeding up the supplies remain extremely limited. More than 2 million Marylanders are eligible right now to get the vaccine, but the federal government is only providing the state is about 10,000 doses per day. Maryland officially passes 350,000 coronavirus cases. In the last 24 hours, 39 more people have died. However, hospitalizations continue to fall and the positivity rate the statewide is now below 6%. Governor Larry Hogan is hoping to increase community trust in the coronavirus vaccine. The state is launching a new outreach campaign. The GoVax campaign will be made up of different community leaders, medical experts, and others. One of the most effort of this campaign is to address VAC Hennessy's among minorities communities. Maryland passes 350,000 coronavirus cases with more than 2,000. 31 more people have died. Hospitalizations are down and the positivity rate is at the all-time low once again. Now this comes as Governor Hogan launches what he's calling an aggressive vaccination effort aimed to convince minorities of COVID vaccine is safe. The results are in phase three of Johnson & Johnson vaccine COVID vaccine trials. It found that overall the vaccine was 85% effective in preventing severe cases of the disease 28 days after getting their shot. Results also review protection against multiple emergency 
virus variant benefits of the vis vaccine compared to others. It only requires one dose and can be stored in regular refrigerator. It still needs FDA approval. If you like to look at the coronavirus in Maryland and if you live in the state of Maryland, please go to their link at coronavirus.maryland.gov.